Hey everybody, Pedro here for Adafruit, and today we're gonna be checking out the new PrinterBot Metal Plus. It's a simple, minimalistic design that offers a bigger build area, upgraded linear rail system, and of course, a sturdy powder-coated metal frame. The linear rails and carts offer a smooth, stable movement of the print head and bed. The machine aluminum bed is extremely flat with a large build area that can produce prints up to 10 inches by 10 inches by 10 inches. The PrinterBot Metal Plus is the bigger sibling to the simple metal and should feel very familiar if you've already used one before. Even with a bigger build area, the Plus still has a surprisingly small footprint. A heated platform is available as an upgrade, but PLA prints stick perfectly to blue painter's tape or a flexible build plate. Using a micro SD card, the printer can be disconnected from the computer for untethered printing during a long print job. We recommend using an inline power switch for a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack to act as a power switch. The print head uses a Cartesian system with the X axis moving left to right and up and down along the Z axis, while the print bed moves backwards and forwards along the Y axis. Most of the components are mounted behind the folded metal, tucked out of the way. This really gives the whole design a clean look. A ceramic UBIS hot end is compatible with 1.75 millimeter filament and features a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. A lot of material to choose from here, including copper fill, bronze fill, carbon, conductive, as well as NinjaFlex in the usual PLA and ABS, and many others, including hips. Bed leveling is aided by the help of the auto leveling Z probe. Software is then used to adjust the offset height of the print head. The G28 and G29 commands available in our profiles perform a three-point level check and then adjust the Z height for each print. Print speeds can go up to 80 millimeters per second with a resolution down to 100 microns. The aluminum bed produces prints that are extremely level. The print head can stretch to the far edges of the bed for those really big prints. Retractions perform very well without a ton of loose strings between each island. Here we're printing this complex Helix Caddy with 50 millimeter retraction speeds with a distance of 1.5 millimeters with a beautiful detail in each cylinder. This was definitely a difficult print that popped off the bed without any cleanup required. For initial bed leveling, the Pretier is used to send the G-code commands that will level the sensor. You can read the full guide on the Adafruit learning system. You'll want to check that the X-axis linear rail cart is calibrated to the bed by individually turning each Z-rod until leveled. Now we can physically adjust the height of the Z-probe by carefully tightening the bolts together as soon as the light is triggered by the aluminum plate. Use a piece of paper to gauge the nozzle distance. Offset the height by about 0.01 millimeters until the nozzle grips the piece of paper. Check and save offsets to all four corners to ensure a clean leveled print. Use the M500 command to save the settings to each corner and carefully confirm that the whole bed is leveled. Once you've run a successfully leveled print, you can go untethered by using AstroPrint to wirelessly control prints. You can see how to build one using a Raspberry Pi in our previous episode here. And that's the PrinterBot Metal Plus, a sleek, large, affordable, high resolution 3D printer. You can of course pick one up in the Adafruit shop. Are there any questions or prints you'd like us to test? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to tune in every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern time for 3D Hangouts live every week. Until then, see you guys next time.